Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Soren here again with another After Effects tutorial. This time we're going to be going over a uh, RGB split, which is a really easy effect you can do you know, to uh, kind of emphasize the beat. I'll have some examples shown on screen right now. Alright, so yeah, uh, it's a really easy effect. It's really subtle, but uh, how do I say? It's subtle, but you, you notice it a lot. So, right now we're just gonna get right into it. You're gonna start up a new composition, make it any size you want, any size you need it to be. Alright, so now we got our clip in. I'm just using a picture because it'll be nice and easy to use. You'll be able to see everything really clear, and it doesn't really matter what you're using. So, go over to effects and presets, and the first thing you're gonna put on is a motion tile. This is just gonna allow us to. Um, and do it, you know, moving the picture around a little bit without seeing any of the black edges. And then next, you're gonna put on something called channel or shift channels, excuse me. And this is going to help us break apart the red, green, and blue channels on your video or image layer. And that's all you need for this clip. So next, you're gonna go up to layer, new, and create a new null object. We're gonna name it something relevant. We're gonna call it RGB controller. And then for this, you're going to put on something called a slider control. And what this does is just allow you to edit values. It doesn't do anything itself. So I can change the values around and won't do anything. So if you double click on the word slider up here in the effect panel, it'll bring it up here in the layer and you'll see why in a second. So on your video or image layer, hit P on your keyboard to bring up the position. So we're going to be using an expression for this and uh, I'm just going to have this down in the description as well so you can copy and paste it but if you alt hold down alt on your keyboard and click on the stopwatch next to position it'll bring up this little dialog box this is the expression so what you're going to want to type in is wiggle and then parenthesis 40 comma and then after you type the comma you're going to want to go to the pick whip for the position tool that's the little swirly right here and click and drag it over to the slider on the null layer and then you're going to hit another closing parenthesis and then you're done with that box and that's it so what this allows us to do is it creates a, a random wiggle so the first number is 40 that's going to make it wiggle 40 times a second and then when we pick whipped uh the expression up to the slider that's controlling how far uh the displacement is going to be for every time it wiggles so right now our slider is set to zero so i mean you won't ever see it moving around but so if i set the slider to 50 you're going to see it moving around quite a bit because it's moving around 40 times a second at anywhere between zero pixels and 50 pixels in either x or y axis so we're going to turn that back down to zero for a second we're going to click back on our image layer and we're going to take the motion tile put the output output height and how output width out to something like 120 it doesn't need to be that large this is just so our image doesn't really go off the screen too much so now if you look at the uh movement again you can see there's no more edges around it's just kind of repeating it on the side and since it's moving so fast you won't be able to tell all right so last but not least go back down your image layer and turn the shift channels so we're doing red green and blue so the first for this layer we're going to turn it to red so we're going to turn off the green put on full off and turn off blue now you see it's only red we're going to duplicate the image layer two more times so Control d on your keyboard twice on the top layer it's on red only we're going to turn red off and then we're going to turn green on so take green from make sure it's selected green and then we're going to turn this layer off real quick and then take the middle layer and turn blue on and turn everything else off all right so if i turn the top layer back on uh we're going to take the first two layers and set their blending mode to uh to add so right now, if for some reason you don't have these uh, drop down boxes here, go ahead and hit toggle switches and modes and it should get you there. All right, so now that it's adding all three channel layers together, you can now see that uh, the picture looks like it did normally. But if we change the value on the slider, it'll change how much each layer is moving because they all three have the same expression. Hold on. They all three have the same expression on each of the layers. And since this uses uh, a randomly generated number to say how much and in which direction it's going to be moving in, the layers will split randomly. So if I go like that, you can see that the layers are a bit all over the place. 
like so. And then now all you have to do is if you find the you find the beat on your song, and you take the slider, and this is the only thing you're gonna have to keyframe. So say if my beat is at here at a half a second, I would start a little bit before it, keyframe the slider at zero, go to where the beat hits, keyframe it up to I normally use about 80 for whenever I'm making an edit, and then go back down to zero afterwards. So that way it'll uh, the shake will come in and then come out. Uh, if you have really short uh, staccato beats, you can just move this first keyframe up and uh, the split will happen a little bit quicker. So now you got something like that going on. And then, you know, if you uh, combine this effect with a little bit of like flashing lights or a uh, uh, screen pumps and stuff like that it comes out to be really nice it's really subtle but it has a pretty big impact on on what you're looking at so anyway that's all for this tutorial I don't think I'm gonna put a project file in the description because this one's pretty easy to uh, figure out if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions for future tutorials make sure you leave it down in the comment section below or shoot me a tweet show me a VM on vine and yeah anyway guys this has been Soren I'm out thank you